Okay, getting close to the monkey. How about we take a break and start practicing the seahorse? Now with the seahorse, almost the same concept, obviously as with these new um, patterns. Mostly milk, you wanna create that nice base to let's say halfway for this one. The monkey is also halfway sometimes, just depends how quickly you can take it out. So yeah, with the seahorse, at the start we're gonna use more of a foam to milk mixture. And then at the end, we're gonna be using just foam. So this is the next challenge to really balance your foam to milk ratio, because it's gonna go up and down. So we are starting on the side of the cup with a stack of tulips. You can do as many stacks as you can, but to start off with, I recommend having a free stack. Then when you finish with these free stacks, we're gonna do two rosettes starting from the tip here. Going on a side, on an angle. So we have one, two, three, four, and five. So, tulip, 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 rosetta, rosetta. Now this is when your foam skills is gonna come in. You're gonna start here and you gotta hold it until you have a, a nice base to start off with. And you're gonna come around and you're gonna loop it to make an eye. So this part here is gonna be just coffee while the outside of it is just gonna be foam. And when you're done with that, you're gonna come back here with your foam and come out and try and make a nose with this white patch there to signify its eye. Kind of looks like a, like a pelican now. It's supposed to be a seahorse. Now when you come back here, you're gonna do the same thing, create a base and create its tail. This time we're not leaving any coffee gaps, just straight milk. And this side, this is the most variable part of um, the seahorse. We're gonna start off with a infinite foam side, a uh, foam. So with your phone, you're gonna try and create an infinite sign. Um, but the more you get experienced, the more you can start playing around with this. The Probably the most popular variation is the two rosettes, like so. So just imagine this right here. Start off with, we are going to do the infinite sign. But let's go to it. Okay, so here we go. Starting off with just the milk. Find that balance. I'm gonna start about now. Go one, two, and three. Go for my two rosettes. One and two. Start my body. There's my eye, and I'm coming down for the nose around from the tail and then the infinite sign. Now that is what you want to aim for for your first tries. Uh, we're going to come back and show you how it's actually supposed to look like but this is a great start just to get your motion to the picture. Okay, so this is what it's kind of supposed to look like. The tail here uh, is touching the cup a little bit too much, so I think my advice would be try to make it smaller, try to make it more petite. The infinite sign came out all right. And yeah, the rosettas came out pretty perfect.